welcome back to Fashion Attack. Today we are gonna do something that makes me so 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 excited. It's the Dior Saddlebag, but the new version. This means that it's gonna be both a strap bag and also a fanny pack. And the new model, instead of the old mini saddlebag from Dior, fits your cell phone inside. Which I don't even know why you should have a bag where your cell phone doesn't fit, it makes no sense. <laughs> the bag is so new that it wasn't even in store here in Israel, so I just went through Pinterest and scrolled over and over till I could find enough images to remake this bag where your cell phone fits, first of all. And then I just printed it and traced it up and then came up with this drawing, basically, where you can see me measuring basically everything. <laughs> and at the end, I came out with this amount of little papers that are going to be the base for a bag. We're just going to place it on the leather and follow them and they are going to become our bag. Like this, it works so simple. So guys, let's start because I just can't wait to show you the final result. Let's do it. Because of the absolutely weird shape of this bag, I'm sorry Dior, this bag is amazing, but it has such a weird shape. I cannot just tell you to cut the leather in 20 centimeters times 17, that's the entire size of the bag, because the curves make it different on any section. So what you have to do is print a bag from online and trace it for your shapes, or maybe make a screenshot of this and print it and follow this as you create your bag. Three, two, one, we are ready for this. You have to place all the different pieces of paper on the leather and then you're gonna follow them as if they were kind of a stencil and the work is gonna be so much simpler than drawing directly on the leather. Then you cut it all away and the next step is just to place them as if they were the back. So to check if they all work out, if there's a little piece that you cut it too much or too less before you wanna sew it together and make a mess. The first two layers that we're gonna sew are their external pocket of the front. So it's only two layers and you're gonna sew the top and the bottom rounded side, not the borders, only those two. Then after that we're gonna have to make the little straps that are to pass your belt inside and also the ones that go on the top of the back, that's where you're gonna have to clip your handle every time you want to add the straps on it. The bottom of it, we want to make it a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. You want to make it a little bit more rounded and then after that we're gonna to have to sew a little square around the pieces of the leather that we just did. It doesn't hold anything, it's just how the bag aesthetically looks and we want it to look awesome. So that's what we're gonna do. I have no idea what is the right technique to hold the leather in place while you're sewing but hair clips are the best kept secret because they hold everything without leaving any mark on the leather and it's gonna make the entire work so much more smooth. The only little part that we're gonna have to make by hand is sewing this two lines where your belt passes through. Um, and then on the top of the leather, so this is gonna be the back pocket, we wanna sew a straight line. Again, this is not holding nothing together, it's just how it is aesthetically. And then the two little straps on the top part of the second piece of leather. We want to sew it only on the top and then we have to add this little metal thing. There is where we can clip and unclip the strap every time. It makes the bag so much more versatile. It's super cool, I love this. Okay, let's go on. <laughs> yes, We pass it inside the sewing machine again and there you have it. This is how the back sides of the back look already. Now all you have to do is layer every single piece because now is the moment where we're gonna go and sew everything together. Please lose some time trying to place them perfectly on top of each other because it's super important. You have to make sure that the corners are matching and also don't mix up the pieces of leather. We always want that the clean part of the leather is the one facing. So we used for the back reverse the leather and then the internal part of the bag you can see the leather again so that when you fold the top of the bag you're still gonna see open and close the bag always the clean part and not the inside of the leather then we use our super 
super useful hair clips to keep it all in place and then we're gonna sew all of it together beside a little piece on the top middle of the bag that one we have to leave it open all the rest we're sewing it together going all around holding something like 0.4 from the border of the bag and we sew it all together and we're so close to finishing this awesome bag guys we already arrived to this and it looks already incredible two things one the borders, we are gonna cut them out to make them perfectly straight once we're finished completely with the back so that all the five layers, that's why you need a very thin leather, are gonna match perfectly. But most importantly, these are the sides where we are gonna pass our little belt through so that you can use it as a fanny bag all the time. Or if you want it as a bag, this is where you are gonna clip your straps to. Let's go on. The reason that we left the top of the bag open is because we have to draw now the two little lines that are so characteristic of this bag where your letter is falling from and we have to cut it away straight. You have to do it twice the size or the length that you really want it because you have to fold it in two. These are awesome little letters that I found at a simple uh, to-do soft DIY accessory store. I don't even know how to call it. You put it inside, you clip the leather with your hairpin and then you just sew straight on two sides of the leather and then you clip it in the middle of the bag when the bag is opened while the second piece of leather the one that does not have your leather on top of it we want to sew it inside the little open section that we left of the bag now you can put it inside place it diagonally so that it leaves a little bit of a gap and then after you close completely all the pocket This is so beyond my expectations. We sewed everything together from the front. The back instead has like a second pocket where you can put everything inside. Ah, this is so cool. I am shocked by how good this looks. And with the little initials on my letter on it, I feel like it's super personalized and so cool. I can't wait to try it on and to have it with all the different little straps that we're gonna try now. This is amazing. Guys, don't worry, I'm gonna leave you all the links for all the equipment and materials that you need to do this bag in the links below. In the meanwhile, I chose three different straps that I could use for the bag, but you can choose as many as you want. And then we have to create, I don't know why I didn't do a stencil that I just drew on the leather, but in any case, it's very simple. You have to draw this kind of a shape double twice so that we can sew it on top. So we place the metal part inside the leather after that we cut it out so that this becomes the leather attachment of the straps to which we can clip every time the different colorful straps of the bag. As you can see, I'm sewing super duper slowly because we do have the piece of metal inside and we have to sew around it, making sure that we are not breaking our needle during the process. Once this is done, these are going to be the two little straps that we have for the bag and these are the clips that instead are always going to stay on your bag while all the rest of the section can be replaced and changeable. We have to add these little buttons that I don't know how they are called but they actually do work as a button on the leather part. Then we cut a second hole on the top so that this can close on the clip and every time you use this to change your strap that we can change and add it on top. So yeah, I will, as you will see, this is the part that I'm sewing, so the leather side always stays on the strap, not on the bag. That's why you need the clip on the bottom. Now, instead, we're creating also the belt, because as we said, this bag can be used as a pouch and also as a bag, so you can decide which of the two versions you wanna use together. I just got some Velcro that I'm adding at the ends of the fabric, and that you can easily open and close whenever you wanna get out of the bag. I don't even know if this is a term, if you get out of a bag, or you wanna get rid of the bag, you just wanna open the bag, Open the belt of your bag, that's the word. Then I also got letters by initials for the belt because that's how the Christian Dior bag is made. They have CD, I have MZ because we don't wanna copy them. We just wanna get inspired by them. I'm sewing them on the belt and then guys, the bag is done, completely done. And 
And as in every fashion DIY video, here is my modeling section that I know you couldn't wait for. <laughs> okay guys, without any joke, I just wanted to let you see how versatile the bag is, trying it on completely different kind of outfits and especially trying the different straps in different colors. You can still decide to get a strap in black or white and make the bag way more simple. I just thought that the contrast of the colors and the straps make it so cool that I had to get them all super colorful. As I told you, the link of the materials are all gonna be here down below in the video, so it's gonna be a lot easier for you to make the bag. Here I'm showing you to take completely the belt out and use it only as a bag. Guys, if you're already following me on Instagram, thank you. If you are not, you should come and follow me because I'm gonna spam you with pictures of this bag because I love it. And subscribe, see you next time.